Isn't that just like a woman? Sneaks out a message and all she can say is pray for a miracle. No. In 1960, the same creative minds behind Naked City introduced Route 66, a captivating television series that ran until 1964 with 116 exciting episodes. This classic tale follows the journey of Todd Stiles, who, after a significant life change, embarks on a road trip across America in his stylish Chevrolet Corvette. At first, Todd's loyal companion is his best friend Booz Murdoch. However, when Buzz departs, he is replaced by another intriguing character named Lincoln Case. Each episode takes place in different locations throughout the country, keeping the audience engaged and always curious about what's next. Like its predecessor, Route 66 features standalone stories while incorporating some recurring characters. With changing landscapes and diverse narratives each week, this engaging series proved to resonate with viewers during its successful four-year run. Yeah, I remember. When he flushed my pilot out of bed, he said that's where he wanted to jump. More. Additionally, Martin Milner, born in 1931, started his journey in acting with small roles in films and television. After overcoming polio, he dedicated himself fully to his craft. He became widely known for his role as Todd Stiles in the TV series, which aired from 1960 to 1964, where he traveled across America with his friend. Milner's performance resonated with audiences, capturing the spirit of adventure and friendship that defined the show. Following this classic, he continued his acting career, appearing in popular series like Adam 12 and The Swiss Family Robinson. His life came to a close in 2015 when he passed away from heart failure, leaving behind a body of work that continues to be appreciated. Now, uh, down at the morgue, we're not so crowded. Moreover, George Maharis, born in 1928, rose to fame for his portrayal of Buzz Murdoch in the show. His performance was notable for its depth, as he often employed method acting to bring his character to life. However, his journey took a turn when he left due to health issues. Even after his departure, Maharis continued to pursue acting in films and television, showcasing his talent in various roles. Sadly, he passed away in 2023 from hepatitis, marking the end of an era. Through his work, Maharis left a lasting impression on audiences, who remember him fondly for his contributions to this classic. His dedication to his craft remains an inspiration for many aspiring actors. Today, tomorrow we'll start on segment points and work on the preservation of loops intact. Glenn Corbett made his mark in the entertainment industry through a variety of roles, but it was his transition from films to television that truly solidified his place in the hearts of many viewers. In the early 1960s, he joined the cast of the popular TV series Route 66, stepping into the role previously held by George Maharis. This iconic show followed the adventures of two young men traveling across America, and Corbett's addition brought fresh energy to the storyline. Throughout his career, Corbett graced both the small screen and daytime dramas with his presence. After his stint on Route 66, he went on to appear in numerous other TV shows, including The Fugitive, Combat, and Perry Mason. His ability to adapt to different genres demonstrated his range as an actor and endeared him to fans far and wide. Corbett also found success in soap operas, where he took on more serious and complex characters. His work in these often intense, and emotional storylines revealed yet another facet of his acting abilities. Sadly, in 1993, Glenn Corbett passed away due to lung cancer. However, his memory lives on through the countless memorable performances he left behind. Over the course of his life, he captivated audiences with his talent, proving himself to be a true master of his craft. Though he may no longer be with us, those who remember him will always cherish the indelible impact he had on the world of television. Take those jackets off. In the early 1960s, Route 66 became a popular television series known for its compelling storylines and impressive roster of guest stars. This classic show had its fair share of famous faces appearing throughout its four seasons, some of whom would later become even more recognized for their work in other memorable productions. Notably, horror movie legends Boris Karloff and Lon Chaney Jr. graced the small screen through this series. Their participation added depth and variety to the mix of talent already present in the show. Science fiction enthusiasts might find it particularly exciting that both William Shatner and DeForest Kelly made appearances before they were catapulted to stardom by another acclaimed franchise. Some guest stars continued their journey toward greatness after being part of this TV series. 
For instance, Michael Conrad found himself in an iconic role as Police Sergeant Phil Esterhaus in Hill Street Blues. Similarly, Alan Alda captured Hearts playing Hawkeye Pierce in M.A.S.H., which brought him much-deserved recognition. The presence of these renowned actors contributed significantly to the success of Route 66. Each individual brought unique skills and experiences that undoubtedly left lasting impressions on viewers. Today, we can still appreciate how these artists marked their places in television history, paving the way for future generations of talented performers. Maybe not good reasons. My reasons. Moreover, the show had a big effect on American culture and television. It introduced viewers to the idea of road trips and exploring the country. Through its two main characters, who traveled along Route 66, it showed the beauty and diversity of America. The series is remembered for its strong storytelling and character development, presenting deeper themes of friendship, freedom, and the search for purpose. Today, the show is still relevant because it captures a sense of adventure and wanderlust that many people still feel. It inspired later shows and films that also focus on travel and personal journeys. The music and style of the series evoke nostalgia, reminding viewers of a simpler time. Overall, the show's combination of travel, friendship, and self-discovery continues to appeal to new generations, making it a timeless classic in American television history. I've stopped counting the nights I've sat here by myself. In the late 1950s, veteran producer Herbert B. Leonard and young writer Sterling Silifant collaborated on a groundbreaking television series concept. This new show would follow two restless young men traveling across America, exploring different communities and cultures. Thus, Route 66 was born, but finding the right actors to bring these complex characters to life wasn't easy. Casting directors first considered James Franciscus for the lead role of Todd Stiles. His solid background in theater made him stand out among other hopefuls. However, it was his natural charm and relatability that ultimately secured him the part. Playing opposite Franciscus was George Maharis, who portrayed Buzz Murdoch. Initially hired as a supporting actor, Maharis impressed the creative team during early table reads. As they watched the budding camaraderie between Franciscus and Maharis, executives saw potential for a powerful dynamic duo. Martin Milner joined the cast later in the series when Maharis took a medical hiatus due to hepatitis. Producers knew Milner from his work on another successful TV drama, Dragnet. They believed his calm demeanor and wholesome image could help steady the ship during turbulent times. Indeed, Milner proved to be an excellent addition, playing Link's case with both grit and sensitivity. During auditions, producers sought performers capable of tackling various challenges thrown at them by thoughtfully crafted scripts. Both leads had to display versatility since each episode featured intense emotional scenes alongside lighthearted comedy and suspense. Each actor underwent rigorous screen testing, delivering monologues and improvisational exercises designed to reveal their true range. The chemistry test played a crucial role in shaping the final ensemble. These sessions allowed filmmakers to observe interactions between prospective cast members. For instance, watching Franciscus and Maharis together revealed sparks of authentic friendship, something essential for believably depicting constant companionship throughout countless adventures. Route 66 premiered in October 1960 and quickly gained critical acclaim for its innovative format and top-notch performances. Looking back, careful consideration went into selecting just the right talent needed to breathe life into this unique vision. Just I learned a few things in school and I try to pass them on so you too can be a real... The directors of Route 66 brought a unique vision to television screens in the 1960s. Led by veteran filmmaker John Astin, the team aimed to create a show that was both entertaining and thought-provoking. Astin drew inspiration from his background in documentary filmmaking seeking to capture the raw beauty and diversity of America through the lens of the small screen. He wanted each episode to feel like a mini-movie, complete with stunning visuals and complex characters. To achieve this, Astin employed a variety of cinematic techniques, including innovative camera angles, dramatic lighting, and location shooting. This allowed him to bring the highways and byways of America to life in a way that had never been seen before on TV. Collaboration was key to the success of Route 66. Austin worked closely with the writers to develop compelling stories that would resonate with audiences. He also fostered a strong sense of camaraderie among the cast and crew, encouraging them to take risks and push boundaries. 
One notable example of this collaboration was the episode I'm Here to Kill a King, directed by Herbert Hirschman. The episode featured a guest appearance by Martin Landau, who delivered a riveting performance as a former Nazi officer living undercover in America. Hirschman and Landau worked together closely to craft a nuanced portrayal of a deeply troubled character. Another standout director was Richard Donner, who later went on to helm blockbusters like Superman and Lethal Weapon. Donner's work on Route 66 showcased his ability to balance action and drama, creating episodes that were both thrilling and emotionally engaging. Overall, the directors of Route 66 brought a fresh and innovative approach to television storytelling, blending elements of cinema, literature, and theater to create a truly unique viewing experience. He's all alone. He's waiting for the wind to die. Filming for the 1960 TV series Route 66 took place across various locations, showcasing the diverse American landscape. The show's creators aimed to capture the spirit of adventure and freedom associated with road travel. To achieve this, they faced numerous logistical challenges. The set design was intricate, often requiring the crew to build temporary structures in remote areas. For instance, they would construct gas stations, diners, or motels where none existed before. These sets added authenticity to each episode and helped advance the storyline. One notable aspect of Route 66 was its cinematography. At a time when most television shows used static cameras, this series embraced mobile ones. They mounted cameras on cars, allowing viewers to experience the journey along with the characters. This technique provided an immersive viewing experience, setting it apart from other contemporary programs. However, mobility brought unique challenges. Camera equipment had to be compact enough to fit inside vehicles while still delivering high-quality footage. Additionally, maintaining stability during filming became crucial since even minor vibrations could ruin shots. Despite these hurdles, the team successfully integrated new technology, creating a distinctive style that resonated with audiences. As for locations, the series covered vast distances, traveling from coast to coast over three seasons. From bustling cities like New York City and Los Angeles to quiet towns in Arizona and Kansas, every location served a narrative purpose. By changing settings frequently, the producers kept the audience engaged, offering glimpses into different lifestyles and cultures across America. Despite the difficulties posed by shifting locations, the makers of Route 66 managed to create something special, a captivating chronicle of life on the open road. Their groundbreaking approach left an indelible mark on both television history and popular culture, inspiring future generations of filmmakers to push boundaries and explore creative possibilities. Got no more steel left. I got the creation of the Route 66 soundtrack was overseen by composer Nelson Riddle, who also worked on films like Lolita and TV shows like The Untouchables. He led a talented group of studio musicians known for their jazz skills. Together, they crafted a distinctive sound that captured the freedom and adventure of the show's road trip theme. Nelson Riddle once said, I wanted each piece of music to reflect the changing landscapes and moods encountered on the journey. This approach resulted in diverse musical styles, including big band swing, cool jazz, Latin rhythms, and even orchestral pieces. One memorable example is the main title theme itself, an upbeat, energetic tune that instantly evokes images of cruising down an endless highway. Featuring a lively brass section, catchy melody, and rhythmic percussion, it perfectly encapsulates the spirit of Route 66. Another notable aspect is how the music underscores character development and plot twists throughout the episodes. For instance, when our heroes find themselves in New Orleans, viewers are treated to sultry saxophone solos and bluesy piano chords reminiscent of the city's rich musical heritage. Similarly, dramatic string arrangements heighten tension during suspenseful scenes. Composer Martin Roost recalls working on the series, stating, we aimed to create a sonic tapestry that mirrored both the physical locations and internal struggles faced by the characters. By doing so, the score became integral to the viewing experience, enhancing storytelling through its nuanced layers. Unfortunately, due to budget constraints and production practices common at the time, many original recordings have been lost or destroyed. However, dedicated efforts by archivists and historians continue to unearth and restore these precious gems, ensuring future generations can appreciate this unique slice of American television history. You and me, Johnny, you and me! I've seen you working worse.
One of the most iconic scenes in Route 66 comes from the episode A Lance of Straw. Todd and Buzz find themselves in a small Texas town, where they become involved in a tense situation between the local farmers and ranchers. As the two outsiders, they try to mediate the conflict and help the townsfolk see past their differences. The scene in question takes place in the local bar, where the farmers and ranchers face off against each other. Director Robert Gist expertly builds tension through tight shots of clenched fists and angry faces. The camera work is raw and gritty, capturing every detail of the confrontation. Milner and Maharis's performances are exceptional, conveying a sense of urgency and concern as they attempt to defuse the situation. Their genuine care for the people around them shines through, making the viewer root for their success. According to Milner, that was one of my favorite episodes because it dealt with real issues that people were facing at the time we wanted to show that even though people might have different views, they could still come together and find common ground. This scene had a significant impact on audiences, highlighting the importance of understanding and compassion in the face of conflict. It resonated with viewers who saw themselves reflected in the struggles of the farmers and ranchers, leaving a lasting impression that continues to inspire today. Well, it's a face cream and perfume and body powder, jazz like that. Tell your friend to go somewhere. Route 66, a groundbreaking TV series of the 1960s, captivated viewers with its unique storytelling format and compelling exploration of American society. The show followed two young men traveling across America in their Corvette sports car, encountering diverse people, cultures, and societal issues along the way. This innovative approach allowed Route 66 to strike a chord with audiences and significantly influence popular culture. Throughout its four seasons, Route 66 addressed various social and cultural themes, including racial equality, women's rights, labor struggles, and urbanization. By highlighting these topics, the series sparked conversations among viewers about the challenges facing mid-century America and fostered greater understanding between different communities. One notable episode, Black April, delved into race relations by featuring an African-American character fighting against segregation in a southern town. Such thoughtful portrayals encouraged dialogue around civil rights during a time when the nation was grappling with racial tensions and inequality. Moreover, Route 66 celebrated America's rich regional diversity, giving many Americans their first glimpse of various cities, towns, and landscapes outside their own communities. In doing so, it instilled pride in the country's vast geographic expanse, while simultaneously exposing the stark contrast between rural and urban life. The show also served as a launchpad for several prominent actors who would go on to have successful careers in Hollywood, further solidifying its lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Among them were James Dean, Martin Sheen, Robert Duvall, Lanny Anderson, and Joanne Woodward. These up-and-coming talents brought fresh energy to each episode, keeping viewers engaged week after week. As a result, Route 66 left an indelible mark on television history, paving the way for future anthology series like The Twilight Zone and Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Its ability to tackle complex subjects, challenge viewer perceptions, and entertain millions made it an influential force in shaping American culture both on and off screen. I was guilty once I was insomniacs. I mean, what's the real score around here? I mean, last night and yesterday, okay, we went along with... Moreover, the critical reception of the 1960 TV series Route 66 was quite positive. Many reviewers praised its unique storytelling and character development. The show stood out for its focus on the personal journeys of its protagonists, Toad and Buzz, as they traveled across the American landscape. One notable review mentioned how beautifully the series captured the essence of freedom and exploration in post-war America. Audience reactions varied, with many viewers captivated by the road trip concept and the adventures that unfolded in each episode. Fans often commented on the emotional depth and relatable struggles faced by the characters. This connection with audiences helped the series gain a loyal following throughout its run. In terms of accolades, Route 66 received several nominations, including Emmy nominations for writing and direction. These nominations highlighted the creative talents involved in the series. The recognition from peers in the industry not only validated the hard work put into the show, but also elevated the careers of those who participated in its production. A notable achievement was when the series won a Peabody Award, emphasizing its cultural significance and quality narrative. Such honors reflected the show's influence and helped pave the way for future road trip-themed narratives in television. The appreciation from both critics 
and viewers solidified Route 66's place in television history. And what he took the stand. During the filming of Route 66, Martin Milner and George Maharis, the show's leading stars, formed a close bond off-screen. They would often explore the local areas where the series was being shot, immersing themselves in the culture and communities they visited. This camaraderie contributed to their on-screen chemistry, creating a believable and engaging dynamic between their characters. The show's tight production schedule posed challenges for the cast and crew. With just one week to complete each episode, Everyone had to work efficiently and collaboratively. The writers would sometimes finish scripts late at night, delivering them straight to the actors' hotel rooms. Despite these pressures, the team remained dedicated to producing high-quality episodes that resonated with audiences. One notable guest star on Route 66 was Julie London, who appeared in the episode play at Glissando. She became fast friends with George Maharis, and their friendship extended beyond the set. In fact, when Maharis fell ill during the show's second season, London sent him flowers and get well wishes, demonstrating the strong bonds formed among the Route 66 family. Conflicts did arise during the production process. For instance, George Maharis took issue with some of the storylines, feeling they didn't accurately represent his character's development. He even threatened to quit the show if changes weren't made. As a result, producers allowed him greater input regarding Todd Stiles' adventures ensuring a more satisfying experience for both Maharis and viewers. Despite its demanding production schedule, Route 66 provided numerous opportunities for cast members to grow professionally. Both Martin Milner and George Maharis embraced these chances, taking on various roles behind the scenes, from writing to directing, that further enriched their acting skills and deepened their understanding of television production. Route 66, a groundbreaking TV series from the 1960s, holds a significant place in film history. This show offered a unique blend of adventure and drama, captivating audiences through its storytelling and innovative approach. Two young men traveled across America in a Corvette sports car, encountering diverse people and situations along the way. The program broke new ground by focusing on social issues often overlooked during that era. Topics like racism, poverty, and mental health were sensitively explored, making Route 66 both relevant and thought-provoking. Its daring content paved the way for future television productions to tackle complex themes. Moreover, Route 66 had a profound impact on filmmaking techniques. Each episode felt like a self-contained movie due to its cinematic style, impressive location shooting, and high production values. Many directors who worked on the series later became influential figures in Hollywood, including Maury Dexter and Richard Donner. Subsequent works have been inspired by Route 66's distinctive format and themes. Movies such as Easy Rider drew inspiration from its road trip narrative while exploring counterculture elements. More recently, shows like Amazon Prime Video's The Marvelous Mistress Maisel paid homage to Route 66 when they recreated some iconic moments from the original series. Undeniably, Route 66 has left an indelible mark on American popular culture and continues to resonate today, influencing contemporary filmmakers and writers alike. Whether you're watching reruns or discovering it for the first time, this classic series remains compelling viewing thanks to its memorable stories and timeless appeal. But signifies an end to the night. Oh, I'm afraid it's just been one of those days. Did you know that the classic 1960 TV series Route 66 still resonates with many people today? We'd love to hear about your personal connections to this groundbreaking show. Perhaps you were inspired by the thrilling adventures of Todd Stiles and Buzz Murdoch as they traveled across America in their Corvette. Or maybe the captivating stories and guest appearances from famous actors like Robert Redford, James Coburn, and Martin Sheen left a lasting impression on you. Whatever your experience may be, we invite you to share your memories and thoughts with us. How did Route 66 influence your perspective on cinema? What moments stood out to you most? Your insights could spark meaningful conversations and inspire others to explore this iconic piece of television history. Don't forget to engage with our community by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more exciting content. Together, let's celebrate the enduring legacy of Route 66 and its impact on generations of viewers. So, what are your favorite memories from this beloved series?